Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. This is Faith Muringe Updates. So have you heard about a malicious fallout between TMI podcast Costa Murugi Munyi and Huda Monroe, popular Kenyan socialite and entrepreneur? Well, it's all over social media causing netizen mixed reactions, one part supporters sending comments attacking the other, with Murugi responding to Huda's remarks on her body. In a video, Mrs. Muni tagged the fat shaming remarks made by Huda as ugly, encouraging plus size women to love and appreciate their bodies. She went ahead and said, There's a lot going on online right now, but let me just say to whoever is out there fat shaming fellow women, I want you to know that you're beautiful and you are loved. And whatever is inside you that makes you feel like you want to insult someone who does not like you, I honestly hope that resolve because that's an ugly and horrible way to look through life. This is responding to Huda Monroe's harsh comments on her size. Amongst other unspeakable insults, Huda called Muni a garbage truck, Sura Kama Yandovu, and repeatedly lambasted the YouTuber for the liposuction procedure she underwent early this year. Well, liposuction is a type of fat removal procedure used in plastic surgery or rather cosmetic surgery, which Murugi went through with which, according to her, was on her stomach and back and boosted her confidence in February this year. Huda added, the same way you abuse my brand is the same way I will insult you. Go get a life. No physical surgery can help your stinking mental attitude. Look within. My business is like my baby. Insulting it is like insulting my child. You don't know how long and how much hard work has been put to bring us to where we are. Yet you sit in your old mold filled house talking shit. Think twice. Haters don't prosper. Entrepreneur Huda Monroe and influencer Murugi Muni's fallout was after a product promotion fiasco. So this all started on Monday this week after the TMI podcast host raised concerns about Huda's skincare products, specifically questioning why the products did not have an ingredient list. This was in a video. So according to the influencer Murugi Muni, she had received a package from Huda's rich beauty company. And what made Huda even more pissed was that she also mentioned that the product's packaging reminded her of success cards. In the video, she said, One thing that feels like a bit of a red flag is that all products are written the same thing. It doesn't have a description like other products, but I don't want to pass judgment because I haven't tried them. I'll try them and give you an update in two or three weeks and tell you how it's going. Muni said Huda Monroe immediately launched an attack on Murugi, reprimanding her for a poor review and condemning her for not trying the products before posting about it. Murugi Muni, don't bash things without trying because repeated words or typos or a spelling mistake doesn't take away from efficiency of the product or a message. And by the way, you are not in any way forced to post our products, she stated. Huda went on to declare that her business does not need influencers to flourish, going to use professional models to market her products going forward, insisting that she only chooses influencers because of breaking the monotony of her being on the most Instagram product promotion pictures. Now, what are your thoughts about the scaffold between the two? Drop a comment. Let's have a conversation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one.